Hello Underachievers! So as we all know, there are some pretty bad tweets out there. And personally, I don't think you guys should have to put up with reading them on your own. So I thought today, we could read them together! It was, it was a fun bonding activity. Obviously, uh, trigger warning Ariel Scarcella, trigger warning turf. You've read the title. I read Ariel Scarcella tweets, so you don't have to. So if you don't know who Ariel Scarcella is, I made two videos about her. She's a YouTuber who's, you know, fallen into the right-wing grift, as they do. She's a Trump supporter, whilst also being a lesbian. She thinks Elliot Page is a long-lost lesbian. She doesn't think that institutionalized racism is a problem. There's a lot going on there, and usually I would make, like, a serious video about her because she said some dreadful things and hurt a lot of people, but, you know, I thought... We could do with a laugh. There's so much going on in the world that we just need to laugh at bigots at this point. There's a lot of tweets to get through today, so let's just start. So I saw this tweet come up on my timeline because somebody had screenshotted it, but this is the tweet that made me think about making this video. By the way, if there's noises in the background, I have pet rats. They're really loud. So Ariel says, With my $600 stimulus check, I'll be sponsoring two one-way flights to Iran for people who label me a bigot. 2021 is time for them to see what actual transphobia slash homophobia looks like. So I'm not entirely sure what she was trying to achieve with this one. I don't think the whole, haha, let's send gay and trans people to a country where being LGBT is punchable by death. I don't think that is the whole, like, sick burn that you think it is. Like, I genuinely don't. Um, I feel like this tweet would make more sense if you were straight, but you're literally gay. Um, I personally do not wish to send conservative trans people to Iran to be put to death. That's just me. You know, like, I, I don't think we should send LGBT people to countries where they will die um, for fun. I don't, I don't think we could do that. I don't think we should do that. Also, this whole, like, let's see what real transphobia and real homophobia is like. She's only saying this because she wants an excuse to actually be transphobic. Like, just because other people have it worse and, like, other countries are more homophobic or transphobic does not mean that, like, what you're doing doesn't count as homophobia and transphobia. Like, I know the tweet is a joke, but just the fact that she's like, you call me a bigot? Go die. Go die in Iran! Like, there's some brain worms going on in there. I do not know what to tell you. So, next tweet. Five red flags in Twitter bios. Listing of their mental illnesses. Pronouns in bio. Anime profile pics. Blank, don't interact, and activist. Um, listing of their mental illnesses. I'm sure there are specific reasons why people put their mental illnesses in their bio. Maybe it's to find a community. Like, I have a friend who has BPD, and I know that there's a community of people with BPD on Twitter, and they like to talk about, like, relatable BPD things. Um, it's kind of a way to signal to other people, like, hey, we're part of the same community. Maybe we can find each other. Like, that makes sense to me. Um, pronouns in bio. Uh... This is not a red flag. A lot of trans people will put their pronouns in their bio so that they don't get misgendered. And a lot of cis people will put their pronouns in their bio to normalize trans people putting their pronouns in their bio. It's kind of like, hey, I see you. I will also do this to help you out. I don't have my pronouns in my bio for reasons that are not relevant. It makes me uncomfortable because I am trans and I don't want that to be like a, oh, that's just me. Um, but obviously pronouns in bio, it's not a red flag. Anime profile pics, I do not have much to say about that. Blank, don't interact. I get it, like turfs don't interact. So I know a lot of people on Tinder have Tories don't interact. It's kind of an easy way to be like, hey, this, this place is not for you. I should probably put like Ariel Scarcella, don't interact. My bio. And lastly, she said having activists in your bio is a red flag. Um, I'm pretty sure, I can't find a screenshot, but I made a video about her maybe like 10 months ago. I'm pretty sure back then she had LGBT activists in her bio. I may be wrong. Somebody can let me know whether that's true or not, but I'm 90% I'm sure that's true. Let's have a look at her bio. Uh, queen of controversial conversations. Moderate. I would argue that that is a red flag. Queen of controversial conversations. The next tweet. Uh, LGBT. What does that stand for? Lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans? No. Clearly not. Leftists gone borderline tyrannical. I think being a leftist makes you sexy. That is just my opinion. I, I'm sorry if it does not match up with yours. But obviously, that's not what LGBT stands for. Uh, sure, yes, uh, the majority of the LGBT community is uh, left-leaning, but that's because it just makes sense. Conservatives, historically, have not been too nice to the LGBTs. I'm not saying all conservatives are homophobic, but you know, like, all homophobes are probably conservative. Being a leftist and being homophobic does not. You, you can't, they don't gel well together. The next tweet is, lesbians are an endangered species. Well, this should have those fake news exclamation marks, please, Twitter. Lesbians are not an endangered species. There are more lesbians than there are trans people, and you don't see me going around being like, oh, no, trans people, they're an endangered species, because I don't care. Honestly, I don't know if it's just me, but I don't care how many trans people there are, I don't care how many gay people there are, I do not care about the numbers. I just want LGBTs to be happy. 
you know? If they're not happy with the label trans, sure, fine. Don't use it. Who cares? Normalize lesbian bottoms. I agree with this tweet. I'm not part of the lesbian community, so I can't really have much of a say on this, but it's of my understanding that lesbian bottoms are normalized. I don't know what the motivation behind this tweet was. The whole, like, hashtag we exist thing is a bit, um... Yes. I may just be talking out my ass, but I just feel like lesbian bottoms are normalized. Lesbian bottoms, I love you. I love you. So, after Elliot Page came out as trans, Ariel was very, very upset. She was she was very upset for many reasons. We'll be talking a bit about that later, but uh, this one tweet uh, is prompted by Elliot coming out. Serious question. People went after Scarlett Johansson for playing a trans man as a biological woman. Why do the same people feel it's okay for Elliot Page, a trans person, to play a woman on the Netflix show they're on? Right. So, <laughs> this was tweeted maybe like a few hours, a few days after Elliot came out. The difference between Scarlett Johansson trying to play a trans man and Elliot Page trying to play a woman. Scarlett Johansson is a woman. She's always been a woman and her trying to play a trans man is a bit like eee, cause it's kind of like, oh, it kind of eee. Kind of weird that a woman can just dress up as a man, play a man in a movie, you know, speak about the trans experience, and then when it comes to finishing filming, she's just a woman. She's just happily living her life as a cis woman. She doesn't know the trans experience. And I know there's a whole conversation about like, should trans characters be played by trans people? I'd say yes, but you know, I can't be asked for that conversation here. Elliot Page was known as a woman his whole life, he played the roles of women in the shows that he acted in, and now suddenly he's come out as trans, and Ariel's just like, But you can't play a woman, because you're a man! Like, chill, fuck! Also, not to be a conspiracy theorist, but I kind of feel like, you know, the Umbrella Academy, Gerard Way, you know, he's pretty cool when it comes to gender. I kind of just feel like they're just gonna make Vanya trans. Like, I feel like that makes sense. But regarding this tweet, Ariel loves to just create problems where problems aren't. Elliot's only just come out as trans and you're already criticizing the roles he's played? Like, what? So I don't know who Lauren Chen is, but she tweeted, new video about the left's war on women. And Ariel just quote tweeted it saying, bring back women. <laughs> women aren't going anywhere. There is no left's war on women. Honestly, don't know where this has come from. I feel like right wingers just love to make shit up. Bring back women from where? They've not gone anywhere. Also, I feel like I don't really need to explain to you why it's shitty to comment, bring back woman on a tweet where a trans person has just come out. Like, if I came out as trans and someone was just like, bring back woman, where is the relevance? And also shut the f up. So Ariel has been called a turf a lot, um, understandably, deservedly. You know what? I don't know if she's a radical feminist, so maybe turf isn't the right word to describe her. She's definitely a transphobe, but she truly does think turfs are oppressed. Most turfs are simply biological women with opinions on issues that affect them directly. Let's be real. So, there is nothing wrong with biological women having opinions on things that affect them. Obviously not. Like, women absolutely should have the 100% say on abortion laws. But people don't call TERFs TERFs because they have opinions. People call TERFs TERFs because they're bigots. They call them TERFs because they're trans exclusionary. They sh** on trans people. That's not an opinion. Whether or not I'm a dude isn't really an opinion. So Ariel does this thing where she prints out stickers and sticks them on herself. So this one says, Proud to be a thought criminal. Ha ha ha, I have criminal thoughts. Ha ha ha, the left think I'm a criminal for having different opinions to them. Ha ha ha, what's going on in my brain is criminal. I don't think saying you have criminal thoughts is the serve you thought it was. I think bad things about trans people. I think bad things about black people. That's not... Why is that? Why have you made that into a sticker? Creature. She also printed out a sticker that said, My rights do not end where your butt hurt feelings begin. I hope she knows that the only people trying to take away her rights are like the Republicans and the conservatives that she sticks by. Like what rights? What, what, what rights are being taken away by the left? None rights. None rights are being taken away by the left. Like, conservatives love to do this thing where they pretend that they're under attack and that their freedoms are at risk. They are not. Why do people who aren't oppressed want to be oppressed so bad? Why is that a thing? Like the whole like, oh, back in my day we could say this, but now the left doesn't want us to say it. Maybe it's because it was shit. I feel like I'm gonna have to make another video like this if people want that because there are so many tweets to go through But the last one is this one. So uh Magdalene Burns was a feminist lesbian who didn't agree with being trans. She died of a brain tumor These people think it's okay to joke about it and care myself to her. Hashtag stunning and brave. Magdalene Burns was a feminist lesbian who didn't agree being trans. What is there to not agree with? This is the whole thing that I don't understand. Like, people are like, oh, I just don't agree with being gay. I just don't agree with being trans. What do you mean? How does that work? Like, I just, I don't agree with gravity. It is here. It is clear to see. What do you mean you don't agree with it?
You can be upset that it exists, but not agreeing with it, that just doesn't make sense. But yeah, Magdalene Burns was a turf, she was a nasty woman, she was not nice, she was very transphobic and made horrible videos about trans people. It sucks that she had to die the way she did, but you know, celebrating her as stunning and brave is just a bit f***ed up. Like, Ariella's lost like 90% of her trans friends, but she has some, you know, she's got some new ones that she's recruiting. She's had to go for smaller creators now, because obviously the bigger ones, you know, they don't like her. But I just feel bad for them, because there's clearly, you know, there's something going on if you're a trans person and you just hate trans people. That's one thing. But like, being a trans person and being friends with somebody who kind of celebrates Magdalene Burns, that's just a whole... <sighs> that's a whole thing. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you think about it. Uh... <laughs> Comment below how you feel. Um, but yeah, what's your favorite Ariel Scarcella tweet? Have a good day or don't. See you later, losers. Goodbye. Punchy, punchy. Punchy, punchy.